And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Thresh. So this is going to be a pretty interesting deck where we're going to be trying out the new Katarina. If you don't know, uh, Katarina did get changed a little bit, just slightly, in the uh, latest patch. And so the, the way that Katarina got changed is that when you have um, your leveled up Katarina, it used to, be, it used to say play rally. Now it says whenever I'm summoned, rally. And so that's a big difference because we can summon Katarina in different ways from just playing. And so one thing that could be is like with Rekindler. So like if we have a Katarina that's that's dead, we can have Rekindler um, bring it back. It can also be with Thresh. So imagine we have like a leveled up Thresh attacking that summons another attacking champion from your deck or hand. If we'd already had Katarina leveled up, Thresh will attack, put in leveled up Katarina, that's summoning, so that means rally, so that means we'll be able to attack again, put the Katarina back in our hand, attack again, and so on. So like, those are some cool things. That also means harrowing, right? Like if we harrowing and Katarina comes into play off of our harrowing, we get to rally. So maybe our opponent, so like we can, we basically, like if we don't have the attack token, we can still harrowing and rally and then attack. And so maybe we could really surprise our opponent. Maybe our opponent won't be expecting that at all. And you know, like they'll spend their you know ten mana on an Aurelian Soul, thinking that they're going to be able to untap and play their Star Shapings, and be able to stay alive. But then after they play their Aurelian Soul, we just Harrowing Rally, and uh, then attack. That could be really cool. Um, so that's so that's kind of what we got with our deck. We're, so therefore, we're going to play some Legion Marauders as well, because Legion Marauders want us to attack. So if we're attacking a bunch and rallying, we can grow these things quite a bit. All right, plus I really wanted to play Legion Marauder with Stalking Shadows. I think that that could be a really cool combination where Stalking Shadows, you know, not only will help us find Legion Marauder more often than normal, um, but then also it could get us that extra ephemeral copy that can also attack to buff up the Legion Marauder. So I thought that that could be a cool combination. Can we, you know, can we go find more Legion Marauders? We get a search for them a little bit with Stalking Shadows. So then these regions also have other good Stalking Shadows hits. Doom Beast, um, that's a that's a classic, right? Like looking for Doom Beast and getting the the two drain twos. But then when you play Noxus, you also get Imperial Demolitionist. So we're gonna have good reach also with with the help of Doom Beast and Demolitionist doing Nexus damage. We're also gonna play Fervor for more Nexus damage. Plus, uh, having our things die can help with our deck because maybe we need our things to die to level up our Thresh. Maybe we want to kill our own Katarina to be able to bring it back with Rekindler. Um, or, you know, maybe we need to clear out some board space for Harrowing. So this could be a pretty good uh, Fervor deck with just like these other kind of cards. So we're going to start aggressive. We're, we got our two one drops here, Rear Guard, Saboteur. Rear Guard important being the two health for Demolitionist. Um, like those two work well together. So we're going to start off aggressive, try to get a lot of attacks, and, you know, try to keep uh, reviving Katarina and resummoning it and rallying. So cool little, cool little duck here. So Katarina Thresh. All right, let's go play our five games in ranked. Okay, Draven Ezreal. So this is a deck that's going to be uh, putting pressure on our life total. So we're going to go turn two Grenadier, turn three Legion Marauder. Do I want to keep these things for turn four? I think we'll send them back and just kind of see what else we get. Because I also like we you know, would like to get a one mana card if we could have. We were not able to. <laughs> Until it was too late. Alright, so I'll go Rear Guard instead of Grenadier so that I can have two mana for Glimpse Beyond available. Which I guess I could have Glimpse Beyond that, but I was kind of thinking more for like this. Anyone hurt? <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter what I Glimpse Beyond. So either way, same thing. So that's too bad. No, no attack with the Marauder. This can be a great harrowing matchup, right? If car if our cards just keep tra trading one for one, maybe we end up with like a big harrowing. We need to start getting damage in. Wow. 
All right, not bad, not bad. They'll probably run out of removal eventually. Maybe not. I guess I just fervor that, right? Maybe not. They gotta be close. Yeah, okay, so they're at 5 out of 6 for leveling up. So they gotta be close to leveling up. So that levels up Ezreal. It's much safer to just let this happen and then Black Spear. So I'm going to do that. Because this could be a nightmare. Because if I go Fervor, and if they just have like another any other card that targets, then their Ezreal levels up and it goes to 4 health. And then the Fervor doesn't kill it. And yeah, like that's just all a nightmare. So this, this is just the safest play to make sure that we're actually killing the Ezreal. But I guess it's not I guess it's not that bad, because then Fervor would put it down to one health and we'd have the Blade's Edge, so maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I should have just gone Fervor. Okay, cool. We got the Blade's Edge to take down a little Spiderling. They still get the three mana unit. Unify Fervor. That's not worth it. Oh, a 3 2 challenger? Gross. Oh, a 3 2 challenger. Let the bloodshed begin. <laughs> That's good against my Legion Marauders. I have the best job. Time. Chance to shut you. Only fools hesitate. Yeah, so well, the two blades edge against the three, two. I would like Rekindler. Not Captain Farron. Clear it out. Plenty for all of us. Okay. All right. I like that we got this to three health finally. Hey, buddy, what you doing? That's the Katarina they know about. I definitely don't want to play the Katarina they don't know about. Anyone hurt? <laughs> don't blink, or you miss me. You should have run. Come on, boys.
Okay. I'm going to pass from here. Keep this fervor available. Two, three elusive. It's not great. Cool. Second history. Yep, I got it saved for you. It's not bragging if you could back it up. All right, I'd like to find Doom Beast because we're gonna need this Nexus healing. Play the ephemeral to not give them a good mystic shot target. Okay. I have my orders. I think I'm going to play this after I attack. You know, I don't want to waste the rally. So many Tribeam and Probulators. That card's so good. I have three of them. Need this to do a lot of work for me. Oh, also, I forgot to say this. This should work out for us, actually, because Katarina's go back to our hand, I think. I forgot, I completely forgot about this interaction. But these Katarina's, they, should they shouldn't actually die from Ephemeral. They should just go back to our hand. Mm. I forgot to say, I forgot to mention that interaction. Yeah. They'll go back to our hand because they they strike and whenever they whenever they strike recall me and that happens before the the whole ephemeral die thing. So I forgot to mention that, but that's really cool. All right, so can they kill me? That puts me down to one, right? Yeah, it puts me to one. So any spell kills me from here. Any spell will kill me anyway, so I can't... I can't stomp that. Like, I can't... I can't uh, glimpse beyond and then find, like, Doom Beast to, like, heal to. Like, they would still be able to just kill me, so... Um, if they have, if this is another spell, I lose. No matter what. I just better do this. Yeah, watch this. I have a spell. Congratulations. My only hope is that it, it's a spell that targets the Katarina. And then, because then I can sacrifice the Katarina and then we don't take the damage because then the spell fizzles. That's my only hope. Well, they know about that other Katarina in hand. I guess they're... I don't know. So there we go. It was a spell that fizzled. But I don't get to attack again right now. Let's draw two. I have so many Katarinas. This is kind of crazy how many Katarinas we'd get. 
we would just return like, you know, three or four more Katarinas back to our hand. Okay, Lulu Shen. Those are some good champions. Mulligating Harrowing because they are also a deny deck. Love seeing some Culling Strike that can take down both champions. We don't even look like an aggro deck. Good trade. That would have buffed up this flower child. Turned it into a 4-3. Now they don't have any mana. is so big. Oh, that card's big. <sighs> but I want to attack with Marauder. So they're going to quick attack the Shen. I'd have to use both. There's no way to this way. Okay, prediction's up now. Still just trades. So we'll see if they got a barrier card. Ooh, no barrier card. I guess we'll try again. See if they have barrier card again. Could have, you know, sharp sight. Okay. I think he's them from sharp sighting up the thresh. And I'll just save the spell, man. I don't need to play this Legion rear guard right now. I can't block. Three units, Diana. Hold nothing back. Oh, so my thresh is a three five. So 6-3 kills the 2-1. Then the Grenadier can block either of the other two.
culling strike. Let's have some fun. This could be a good time to find a harrowing or a rekindler. So that's gonna attack. Do I just have Thresh challenge the barrier thing? I'll do better this time. Because otherwise they get they get the free kill. Yeah, because I can't let them just kill like this six five Marauder. Come on, boys. Oh man, man, great last three cards. Protector, Repose, Shen. Awesome last three cards. G great turn here. And looks like that's game. GG's opponent. Shen was good. Shen controlled that board. That's what that's what Shen does. Lucian Azir. Let's get rid of Fervor. Keep Black Spear. Good. Rear Guardian to Demolitionist. Where's my axe? War Mason. So I know I could attack for for three to start with, but if their plan is just like Lucian on turn two. I'd rather have both of these attacking. The if their plans like the you know two one challenger. Um, again, I'd rather just have both of them attacking. See what we see. Dune Keeper hurts. That that does make Dune Keeper is the one play where. You know, but they they if they had Dune Keeper last turn, they would have just played it on turn one and attacked with it. So this was you know this was the card they just drew this turn. And that was the the one card that really made that play not so good. Obviously not playing Katarina into the Challenger. I don't have the mana for the Blade's Edge. This has not worked out for me. From after I played the Demolitionist, I was like, I was looking good, and then three cards later, it look looks pretty bad. My steel is yours. Just waiting on the black spear. No going back. Wait for something a little more impactful than these cards. Hope and Blade's Edge takes down the bird. You need not follow, but you will witness. Strike at their foundations. So ideally, we would kill the Azir. Their deck is filled with combat spells. Okay, so we'll take out the Valor. Yeah, I think it would. Delphinus asked, what do you think Katarina would still be balanced if you would always get the Blade's Edge anytime you summon Katarina, even like if leveled up Katarina also gave you a Blade's Edge? Yeah, I think it would still be okay. I mean, yeah, I think it would I think it'd be just fine. Like, it's not like Katarina is like too good right now or anything like that, so yeah, I think that'd be just fine. I 
don't think that would break the card or anything. I don't think that would break the format. They've had a quality hand. Yeah, great first three turns for them, and then going a zero plus protection on four, Marshall on five, Cythria on six, with also, again, protection. That's quality. So I can go the box and challenge and kill a Z and kill Cythria, sorry. Which I guess maybe I, I may have to. Oh, no, no, I don't have the other attack. I have to play the Katarina for the other attack. I need I just need two bodies out here. So yeah, playing stalking shadows into one, you know, would mean that we'd get the, the ability and keep the Doom Blade for the ability again, but I'd rather just have the two bodies in play. Show them the might of our army. And as you can tell this the box is gonna be pretty important. Unfortunately, rear guard can't block. So let's go with this thing, look for a blocker. Miss. Swing and a miss. Shereen, you see what I see? Carry it with you. Emperor, I have risen. And with me, Sharima. So we gotta play that, and then gotta block, probably here, here. All right, go down to nine. We'll have a leveled up Thresh. All right, so level up Thresh, we'll be able to attack, put in Katarina, so we'll be able to rally again. Summon Rally. If only level up Thresh, like, kept putting them into play, not just the first time I attack. <laughs> That'd be... That'd be pretty awesome. I like that land. Yeah, Thresh Lantern animation is really cool. <laughs> that is cool. That's always cool. My shield is yours. Let the bloodshed begin. I gotta keep the Katarina back on defense. Gonna play Death Lotus. Okay. Yeah. These Bright Seal Protectors have been awesome for our last two opponents. That's for sure. The opponents have had some really good Bright Seal Protectors. And that's a terrible draw. That is the worst draw in our deck. I love the open attack. I kind of need to just glimpse beyond... Is that just Rally? Okay, it's not Rally. 
I have my orders. I don't think that spells maybe like sharp sight or like so you know it's it's this is definitely a spell. Could have been Ranger's Resolve. All right, let's go. Harrowing, let's go. Put another Katarina back into play. I love this, like, ephemeral Katarina go back to your hand, just interaction. Like, that's pretty cool. Okay. That was a crazy game. I'm really surprised we won that game, honestly. For how good their hand was and everything, I am really surprised we won that game. I was not expecting to whatsoever. Okay, Draven Jinx. All right, we're gonna mulligan everything except for Marauder. We'll keep Marauder, but we don't have the attack token turn three. This isn't really like the best Marauder matchup, honestly. I kind of think maybe we just mulligan Marauder also. This is, this is probably gonna be kind of a tough matchup. Now we'll keep Marauder. Okay, Grenadier's good. I was hoping for one mana 2 1 that could block. But Grenadier is a good blocker. Alright, so I'm going to go Katarina to be able to get the Blade's Edge. Be able to try to shoot one of these things. Mm, that would have been the reason to use Coin Strike. Alright, well, let's let him attack. I wonder if I should block. Save an extra point of life. Now let's block over here. Alright. So we played blocker on two, blocker on three, and removal spell, and we still go down to ten. Their deck is vicious. Let's have some fun. I salute you. Plenty for all of us. All right, what's the best play? If I just go Thresh, what are my blocks? Thresh blocks the 5-4. I'll probably still have Marauder block the 5-4. No, if I have Thresh block the 5-4, Marauder block the 6-5, we take three, block a 2-2, two, two, take another three, go down to six. No real reason for, I'd only save one life, I just block over here. Take seven. Go down to three. We're just pretty dead. I think we're pretty dead. Death doesn't scare me. First me, then the world. I can go to four by having Marauder block over here. But I don't think that's the most likely way that I win the game. Yeah. 
Good game, opponent. Too fast. All right, Sivir and Renekton with Demacia. I think we talked about this before, that um, Renekton uh, should pair with Demacia really well with all the challenger and fight cards in Demacia, you know, like your Cataclysms and um, things like that, then single combat, concerted strike. You also get Sharp Sight, which is one of the best spells ever. Keep the mana for Black Spear. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. As I live, all will die. They probably don't just pass. So they pass, I waste four mana. Yeah, so yeah, I like I like Renekton Demacia. I think that's a good idea. I I'm not sure if like Sivir is the best other champion. Um, you do get you know, like quick attack with Challenger is really good, but they also kind of sit on the same spot on the curve. I don't really like that. I think I would probably rather have like Garen to be honest. Garen also is another really good card with Challenger because of the regeneration, and then it does you know if you get to strike multiple times with Garen, you're leveling up Garen and getting the rally each turn, which can be awesome for Renekton as well. And, you know, like I said, they're on the different spots of the curve. So, this is the Butcher of the Sands. Follow me, and I'll show you how I earned that name. No going back. Yeah, Jarvan's, Jarvan's definitely playable as well. You know, because you can have Screeching Dragon in the five-mana spot, and then have Jarvan in the six-mana spot. Fiora would have been perfect with, you know, before the, before the nerf, but maybe even just Fiora give you another three mana challenger Chase them down. No surrender. you're down to six I didn't play one drop. I'm not done. Of course, they their Sivir has quick attack, right? So they would have just been seven damage towards leveling up Sivir. <laughs> it's not the worst case scenario for me to pass right now. We'll see if I get punished for playing the Thresh. All right, cool. Did not. Got Thresh in here also. I got them to waste all the mana. It's a living. Try me. I 
They're a Demacia deck. They're definitely going to have pump spells. Okay. I'm fine with that. So we're gonna keep this other three mana for Noxion Fervor slash Culling Strike available. So next, you know, I still have Harrowing plus those two for this next turn. We'll see what they got. Harrowing time. <clears throat> if only we had one more mana, we could replay the Katarina and Rally again. So this is lethal, so they have to do something first. If I, like, Blade's Edge, the Protégé, that would be six things dying to level up this Thrash, so they would kill that the Sivir also. But they have to do something first, because this is lethal. Yeah, the Harrowings have been great for us, for sure. Okay, and they were able to do something. So put them down to four. I want to just do this. Oh wait, that doesn't. Oh, because this thing's not. This thing doesn't die. Hmm. What? How does that still not work? Three, four, five. Oh, because the Katarina's not going to die. Also. Ugh. Too many things don't die. Alright. Whatever. Damage happens. Yeah, so both the Katarina... Yeah, so only four things are actually dying right now. Because both the Katarina and the Grenadier do not die. Alright, so we got different options. I can just th throw this Blade's Edge up at their Nexus and try to fervor and kill them. But if they have like a fight spell, that should still be. I'm just killing this thing. Which, why don't I just use the Blade's Edge to do that? I don't know either. Alright, time, time started to run out. I, I got. <laughs> Time started to run out, so basically, what I, I was worried about. Sure about that? Um, I was worried about them challenging and having fight spell to stop the fervor. Stupid rear guards. Where's my axe? Business as usual. Let's dance. Need a 
All right, I think we got to go for it now. Oh, guys. Oh, man. I really wish I would have... I mean... Yeah, so I guess we'll finally go for it. Okay. So I was going to have, like, a really cool turn here, right? Because I was going to be able to play two more rear guards, attack. I mean, I assume they're dead. But if they're not dead, then I was going to be able to go rekindler, put Katarina back into play. And because Katarina was bigger than Thresh, right? That's another reason a good pairing uh, with Thresh with Katarina. So then we're going to be able to go after I attack, uh, rekindler, Katarina, summon, rally, attack again, and still keep that fervor available for whenever we need it. All right, so we got that winning record. All right, first winning record of the day with the Katarina Thresh. This was a really cool deck. This was something that was different. Um, you know, I haven't played against any kind of deck like this before, and it was really cool. And so if you like playing Katarina and you're looking for a Katarina deck, this can definitely work out. Um, the rear guard not blocking did really hurt multiple times, considering we are like a slower deck. The games go longer, and so you kind of need that one drop to be able to block some. Um, but I didn't play the other one drops because I, I liked how Demolitionist works with rear guard. But I think moving forward, I would probably play something that can um, attack and block in that slot. And so, like, you know, you're, you're looking at, like, Precious Pet is, like, the, the best um, one drop in that respect. But honestly, I think what I would do here is I would go Blade Squire in this deck moving forward. So the Blade Squire, um, you know, like, because, like, these Reforges could be really good honestly uh over because if you get legion marauders that are really big especially if you have um if you harrowing back legion marauders and they're pretty big these overwhelms could be pretty nice the plus two plus zero can can work with like thresh can help thresh like challenge some bigger stuff and you know the quick attack can also help with thresh or you know with with legion marauder or just whatever i don't know i feel like maybe just getting like some blade fragments would be kind of cool maybe maybe that could work for like your one drop and then, you know, with Stalking Shadows with Blade Squire, if they die with the Ephemeral, you, you get those Blade Fragments. I don't know. I could see I could see those Blade Fragments doing some work. I could see that. Especially, you know, like maybe you go like Overwhelm Legion Marauders and then you're able to attack or or Quick Attack Thresh, like one of those two things. And then you're able to attack twice with like Katarina's. And so you get like that bonus, you know, two combats. I kind of feel like I'd want some Blade Squires. Maybe, maybe you go three Saboteur or two Blade Squire. But I think it's important for that one drop to, to be able to block. So I think that um, that's probably more important than having the two health for the Demolitionist. So either either one of those, whichever whichever way you want to go, I think I think those would be the one drops I would replace that with. But besides that, I really liked everything else that we had in the deck. The Black Spears and Cooling Strikes were definitely clutch at different times. It's hard picking out exact removal spells because there are so many good options in these regions we settled with two calling strike two black spear we definitely wanted the fervors for that nexus damage um you know to pair with doom beast and, and demolitionist and everything but figuring out the other ones was kind of tough and black spear was awesome calling strike also did some good work so i was happy with both of those and then yeah harrowing was was awesome and then harrowing with katarina that was something that i completely forgot about like once once i played the, the harrowing i knew what was going to happen because I've, I've played decks where i try to give katarina um try to give katarina ephemeral before right like we've done oblivious islander that's that's one of my favorite combos is oblivious islander with katarina because when katarina is ephemeral it still goes back to your hand so that and it loses the ephemeral when it goes back to your hand so the ephemeral is just basically no text at all on the katarina as long as the katarina can strike so you can go turn one islander on the katarina and then turn two attack with katarina and level it up and put it back in your hand that's always fun all right, so there we go. So that was Katarina Thresh. Really cool deck here. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and other decks you want to see on, on stream, um, other champion combinations, anything like that. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Katarina Thresh, and I'll see you for the next video.